Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, I'm going crazy. You're not going nowhere. You're going to stay right where you've been all this time because I apologize for all the, the things that I've done. All right, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, ladies, I want to show you this. See this video that's pending? This is the quick claim. Quick claim deed, 76%. I want you to pay attention to the date that this was uploaded. Oh, look at that. It ain't even showing the date right now. Wait, hold on. Why are you sleeping? I can't sleep. Ladies and gentlemen, y'all hold on for a second. I just want to show y'all something. Today's the 29th. It has taken two days to put up this video. That's what YouTube does. I just, there's nothing, none of you can do about it. They're, they're, we're not going to do any protests or anything like that. I, this is just me letting you know, and this is 76%. When I went to sleep last night, it started at 9%. Woke up this morning, it was roughly 50%. Now, it's been uploading all night, all, all night long. And all morning. It's 10.39, ladies and gentlemen. 10.39. Shame, ain't it? Ladies and gentlemen. Gentlemen and ladies. I got something that I want to show y'all. It's not. Are you going to show us that, that screen safe? No, I'm not showing you the screen desktop desktop. Okay? God, I just change it every once in a while because I want to give you guys variety, okay? Hey, 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 KC. Hey, Joe, hold on. Ladies and gentlemen. There's a young man that's in jail. I was in there with him. Uh, like I told you, they only put me with lifers. They only put me with murderers and individuals who have killed and killed and killed. Or, man, individuals who killed children. They do that because they think they're punishing me. And mind you, I've met some of these people, and some of these people have not changed. They don't want to change. They're not going to change. They don't deserve to be seeing the light of day. But it's not up to me to determine that. I don't get to make those decisions. My God has not given me that ability to judge a single person on this planet other than myself. And even then, he has restrictions. This young man is there, and he was there originally under life without the possibility of parole. But in California, They've gotten rid of the life without the possibility of parole and have now been giving individuals the opportunity of paroling. They've changed several laws, or excuse me, <coughs> oh, excuse me, I almost choked off of that one. They changed several statutes, stat they changed several prima facie presumptive things out there that they relied upon in the first instance to give these individuals an opportunity of being released. Well, this particular person is back on resentencing because it's been by order of Congress. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry, I'm getting up to check the uh, propane heater because a moment ago it turned off for some stupid reason. The only reason it turns off is because it shakes. It, it has a, a fail safe. Ladies and gentlemen, the fail safe is stupid. If it falls over on its face, the face of this thing is so hot that it will burn whatever it falls over on. So it'll still start a fire. So don't let them tell you that these propane heaters are safe. I cannot leave it on unattended. I cannot leave it on with the dogs running around because all they got to do is bump into it. And next thing you know, flame on! Okay, so it turned off, and I just filled the propane tank. So I needed to find out why it turned off. And the hose has a small leak, but at the base near the tank itself, outside. And I got a new hose to replace it. And I've sealed it for the moment. All right. So that's why I just got up to check that. So I was just explaining it so you know what I was doing. Getting back to the individual who has life without the possibility of parole, and now he's receiving a possibility to parole. What they have been doing with individuals who are known as LWOPs, life without the possibility of parole. What they've been doing with LWOPs, ladies and gentlemen, is cruel. Because these individuals, the ones who, LWOPs basically, 
many of them do run the prisons and many of them are behind a lot of the stupid things and the violence and all that because they're LWAPs, they get a little bit of credit. And I don't make excuses for them. I don't make excuses for the so-called prison life. What I will make excuses for is the fact that many of your LWAPs are the docile ones. They're not doing anything. They're not causing any problems. They are the ones who are making sure that there is no uh, riots every single day. Because before anything jumps off, they have to go through the LWAPs. Not all of them. Not all of them are shot callers. Many of your LWAPs are programming, going to school, going to work, and they're minding their own business. That's what I've seen. Mind you, I have been there. That's what I've seen. Now, many of the ones that I met came from your level fours, level three yards here in California, where all the violence takes place, where things are jumping off all the time. He told me that he was back on appeal and that he's going before the appeal board and that because he has life without the possibility of parole, the only thing the courts can do is sentence him to life with the possibility of parole. Ladies and gentlemen, I have never considered it because it's not something that I deal with. But he asked me if I would communicate with his attorney some of his concerns. And so I put together a letter to his attorney. And while I'm putting together a letter to his attorney, I'm bringing out the fact about the statute, how Congress, the state of California legislature, have already said the statute was unconstitutional, was invalid. And the sentencing the judges were giving these people and the way they were sentencing them was unconstitutional. And so they did a Senate bill ordering the courts to resentence each one of these individuals. That's thousands of people getting resentenced. And what the courts are doing, because they don't want to release these individuals, they don't want to follow the law, because now that is the law. California passed a law that if these individuals have continued to be nonviolent during their entire tenure, more than 20 years, all of them being more than 20 years in jail. Um, ladies and gentlemen, that they have to be resentenced and given, being given an opportunity at parole. And it has to be a legitimate opportunity or then it's not an opportunity. Well, the courts have been resentencing the people who are 25, I mean, not 25 to life, but life without the possibility of parole, they're sentencing them now to 25 to life. So I wrote the attorney, like I said, I'd never considered this before. I'm just considering it for the first time today, this morning. Let me tell you how my mind thinks, contrary to how these stupid attorneys and these courts think. Ladies and gentlemen, life without the possibility of parole and sentencing, uh, sentencing someone to 25 years to life is not a reduced sentence. It's double jeopardy. What are you talking about, Willis? Look, ladies and gentlemen, the law says that you, when resentencing someone, you can not resentence them to a harsher sentence, nor can you resentence them to the same thing. They can only resentence a person to a lesser amount of time. Well, ladies and gentlemen, a sentence to life is a sentence to life. Doesn't matter if it's with parole or without parole, it's still a sentence to life. You cannot sentence a person to life without the possibility of parole to life with the possibility of parole. That's not a lesser sentence. You're just getting one of, rid of one element of the sentence, but you're still sentencing the person to life. That's double jeopardy. It's a violation of the Fifth Amendment. Nobody can be re-put through the same process twice for disciplinary purposes. No one can. It's unconstitutional. And I told the attorney, I know nobody's ever harped on the fact that life is life, but the right to life is the right to life. It is not the right to life with or without the possibility of parole. You sentence the person to life. You can't sentence them to life again. Now, life without the possibility of parole and 25 years to life can't do that. So can a judge sentence the person now to 25 years? No, can't say that. Can a judge sentence the person now to 40 years? Can't say that because the Constitution is not clear on that because we are not certain as to what a person's life is. Now, if a person is 40 years old and the average lifespan for a person of his uh, ethnic background is 74 to 78 years, then if they've already done those years or anything close to that, then that would be double jeopardy. You see, now it gets real technical. 
Now somebody else is going to chime in. But the fact is, the issue is life is life. You can't sentence somebody to life and then sentence them to life again. Life is life. There is no other definition for life. Go ahead and look to see if there's two definitions to life. Oh, let me tell you the Fifth Amendment. No one may be deprived of life, liberty, or property without due process of law. It didn't say nobody may be deprived of life in one instance, but be deprived of life in another instance. It says no one may be deprived of life, liberty, or property without due process of law. So the law now says the courts have to re-sentence. You can't sentence a person to the same thing. That's double jeopardy. You can't sentence them to a harsher sentence because that would mean, pay attention, that would mean by sentencing them to a harsher sentence that there is a egregious conduct and or conduct that is so shocking to the conscience, okay? So without that being the case, they can only sentence him to less than what he got the first time. Well, in California, 25 to life is the normal standard. So now they can't sentence him to 25. Okay, it's 25 to life. So 25 is already a base standard. So you can't sentence him to 25. Now it has to be less, and it has to be proportionate to the entire record. Uh-oh, got a problem. Hold on, bossy. Ladies and gentlemen, here's the problem. This is what happened in the OJ trial. I was saying it the whole time the OJ thing was going on. They had no case against OJ because what he was being accused of occurred in 2004. But now you got to sentence him according to the law in 2004. You can't do it according to the law in 2019, 2020, 2021. The same thing with individuals who are being resentenced. You can't resentence them to a sentence that is, pay attention, according to today's standards. This person was convicted in 2001, 2002. So now you have to do it according to the sentencing standard of 2001, 2002. You can't do it to what you think is fair today. You can't do it based on the conduct that happened from 2001 to now because this is a resentencing. It has nothing to do with his conduct from then to now unless he's created or committed new conduct. Like I said, it's for these reasons that attorneys have asked me to come be a part of their firm as a consultant because they don't think like this. I'm just doing this video to let you know this is the counsel I gave to the young man and to his attorney. I don't know what this is, but this got to go. I didn't ask for that. Bye-bye. Get on out of here. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I do this little short video so that all of you can get it. I, some of you don't get it. Some of you have listened to the videos and you're like, man, that, that boy got a lot of information. But you must understand, I've been doing this for over 30 years. And I can prove that I've been doing it for over 30 years by the way I talk, by the way I do what I do, and by the success that I've had. Okay? By the fact that I, I like Thomas Clark Nelson. I'll keep talking about Thomas Clark Nelson because Thomas Clark Nelson, when I read his stuff, I understood that young man. I understood why he said to this day they have never, ever rebutted a single one of his affidavits. Ladies and gentlemen, they will never rebut a single one of my affidavits because they can't, because I use their own junk. To rebut my affidavits is to rebut themselves. Catch-22. I'm going crazy, y'all. All right. Casey and JoJo brought us into this. Casey and JoJo going to bring us out of this, ladies and gentlemen. Under 15 minutes, just to bring this information to your attention, there are several of you who have people who are incarcerated who may be lifers. You must understand, especially if they're in California, that this information will help them, not hurt them. I don't care if they say the Supreme Court has already heard the argument before. We don't care if this has already been argued before. I didn't argue it. They didn't bring up the same things I'm bringing up, so that makes this different. I have a right to argue the point from my uh, vantage point, not from somebody else's. So don't compare me to Tommy. You didn't apply what you did to Tommy, Joe, Johnny, and May before. You didn't do equal protection of law at the beginning because equal protection of law says you violated my rights. So you're going to have to change something, mother. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going crazy. So let me get on out of here. Y'all take care. I'm out of here.